Hi guys, it's Zigzag here. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at what you get in one of the pre-release packs. Um, so Wizards this time came out with five different pre-release packs, uh, one for each of the schools. Um, not entirely sure how they correspond, but it looks like they are dual color packs. So or hold being red and white, uh, prism or prismari being red and blue, quandrix being blue and green, winter bloom being green and black, and silver quill being uh, black and white. So they came out with uh, five of them. Uh, each one, I'm assuming each one is different, and I will take a look at all of them. But, for the moment, at least I'm going to focus on just one. Um, we're going to start with Warhold because it's the first alphabetically. Um, normally, I would start with white, but since it uh, looks like there are two white ones, I'll just go alphabetically. Um, so, we'll, I'm not sure if I'll do all of them this video or if I'll split them up into five separate videos. It depends on how long this takes. But, um... So, you can see there's no, uh, they are sealed, but there is no Wizards um, actual vacuum seal. Um, Wizards only does the uh, Wizards of the Coast like uh, sealed stuff for their uh, expensive products like uh, booster boxes and collectors boxes and stuff like that. For the pre-release kits and I think for the booster bundles, they don't. Um, so on the bottom, unique code to unlock six Strict Saving School of Magic boosters in Arena. Blah, blah, blah. Um, made in the USA, die manufactured in China. Ooh, so I get uh, five dies, six dies from this set. Anyways, um, 98 cards. Yeah, they actually have uh, full, complete like recycling instructions. I'm not sure if I grabbed these from Canadian distributor or what, but anyways, um, nothing really on the back, nothing on the top, just that elf character looking at the crazy head person. This is like the uh, Kaldheim boosters where it's kind of wide one with, uh, or pre-releases where it's a wide one with this sleeve that slides out. Um, anyways, I'm just going to open it now. So, Hopefully that wasn't too loud for people. So, normally these are used for the um, like release parties and stuff and the pre-release tournaments that they have the week before the new set releases so that players can get used to like how the set plays and what cards to expect and all of that but because of the pandemic and in general these are mainly now sold online um seems like there was a really big uptick in them around the quarry and since then they've been online only for the most part so see the outer sleeve which was what we were looking at before uh not no artwork or anything on the inside and we've got the box here. Um, in the back, it's got, I'm not sure if that's the set symbol or, that's probably the set symbol. But um, anyways, we've got that. Uh, Wizards of the Coast 2021, trademark. Yeah, pretty low key. Open it up. And so first up, we've got a die. This one, yeah. All right, so this is the set symbol. 
They usually put the set symbols on the uh, 20 spot on the dies. So we've got the uh, red and white spin down die right here. Um, it's red with like speckled white almost. And then in here we've got all of the goodies. So, got a Warhold College poster, which looks like an elephant climbing a tower next to another tower. College of Archaeomancy. Explanation of like how to build a deck and all of that. So for the uh, pre-release tournaments and stuff, that's useful. Next, we've got the uh, Silver Quill Silencer. This is not from this pack. I'm wondering if they're all going to be the same. Actually, there's two cards in here. Okay, so, new kind of thing, they gave the, um, so they gave the pre-release card, but instead of sweeping it by itself, at least in this case, it got sweeved with the uh, promo code, so the promo code is actually inside of this pack. I'm guessing they did that so that people don't accidentally, like, copy other or people don't copy other people's codes as they're opening or lose them and stuff since you can now just keep this sealed and then when you get home open it and get the code smart next up we've got a barrier for the uh, pre-release box so you can like sideboard cards and stuff easier um Next up, so this is an interesting one because uh, these ones only have five pre release or five draft boosters, and then they have this um, what are what they're calling um, I think uh, school specific boosters. So you can see we got five normal boosters, all of which have different artwork. Um, they appear to be all the same artwork from the uh, pre-release boxes. Yeah, they are. So, um, Warhold is this one, the elephant guy. So we got five draft boosters then they've also got this which I think is something that they just threw together um these might I'm not sure if these are uh, standard or if there's a selection of cards that these are chosen at random from I'll look into that but uh these are like you can see the warhold pledge master is the first one um make your mark. Um, so these are all going to be a uh, Warhold cards and the rare slash mythic at the very back is uh, guaranteed to be from the college as well. So I guess like the idea being that like with draft boosters they don't have as much control over which cards they're going to get. So overall you're just going to be looking at like a random assortment and you could end up building a deck of a different college but this at least pads your deck so that you're more likely to play um, a a uh, war 
power hold deck. One other thing um, that I will note is that um, the return of either or cards, these haven't been used for quite a while. The last time I recall them, so I think Amon Ket had them. And I can't remember if uh, Pravnica Allegiance did or not, but um, it's been quite a while since the either or cards have been common. So, yep, that's one other thing about this set. So, huh, maybe that's the college symbol. Yeah, that's the college symbol on the die. Sorry about that. So college symbol, college symbol, college symbol. And the actual set symbol looks like it's the raven thing. Anyways, so that's what you get from the Warhold pre-release pack. Um, five, five draft boosters, a maybe custom made or, or pre-selected um, college booster. Then you've got the divider, the little art thing, and the Silver Quill Silencer pre-release card with a uh, promo code to get you six boosters in Arena. So I am going to throw all of this back into there for now. And yep. So that was a quick look at the Strixhaven School of Mages Warhold pre-release pack. Um, on Thursday, we'll be doing the next one and we'll continue through these and then hopefully get through the rest of this Strixhaven stuff fairly shortly. Um, yeah, I ended up having to go on a trip about a week ago, so I didn't really want to dive into this and leave for a trip. So yeah, that's why things are a bit late this time. Anyways, um, I hope this was informative. Thank you for watching. Bye.